In this video, we'll be establishing some of the tools that you need in order to complete orbital filling diagrams. Now, the periodic table can be broken down into blocks. The S block, the P block, the D block, and the F block. Notice that helium over here is included in the S block. So keep this configuration in mind as we work through some of these problems that will ultimately lead us to an orbital filling diagram. An orbital filling diagram is nothing more than a diagram that illustrates the location of each electron found in an atom. At this point, your periodic table is going to have to be organized like mine in order to show uh, the different periods in addition to the S block, the P block, the D block, and the F block. So take a few minutes right now and make sure that your periodic table exactly matches mine. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay. Now that your periodic table exactly matches my periodic table, let's answer a couple questions. Where is hydrogen's valence electron? Well, here's the element hydrogen, and you can see that hydrogen is in the first period, and it's in the S block. So hydrogen's one electron is located in 1S. So that would be the first energy level in the S sublevel. Let's try another one. Where are magnesium's valence electrons? Well, magnesium is number 12. Magnesium has 12 protons and 12 electrons. But where are magnesium's valence electrons? Recall that valence electrons are electrons in the outermost energy level. Magnesium is located in period 3, and it's also in the S block. So magnesium's valence electrons are in 3S, in the third energy level, in the S sublevel. Good. These tools will be just the basics to get you started on what we call an orbital filling diagram. So go ahead and watch that video called Orbital Filling Diagrams next.